guys. So the uh, biggest reason that I switch over from the advanced shoot blocker, even though it does its intended purpose, it does it does keep you from throwing rocks out, debris, stuff like that. There is one fatal flaw that I noticed last spring, especially with that skag, is all these little holes, because that skag has such a powerful suction on it, all these little holes here, what you'll end up doing is you will get all these little, um, <clears throat> basically just clumps of grass shooting through every single one of these holes. And so whenever you're 20, 30 feet away from a house, you're gonna end up pelting the house with all those little things. You're gonna end up sitting there and sucking up a bunch of time on the blower, sitting there trying to get all these little, and I mean, they're just little missiles off of the wall. And guys, I mean, they are stuck to it like glue. Uh, beyond that, I mean, it, it does work. The way it's intended to operate, it works great. That may have just been a freak thing that we saw here in the Kansas City area due to the abnormally wet spring that we had last year. But it's, I mean, it, you can see it's taken its battle wounds. <laughs> it definitely, it, it's not a bad shoot blocker. Uh, it, it still works the way it's supposed to. I'll, I'll keep it around in case I get another mower. Uh, and I just, you know, I'm thinking about getting one for the house. That way I'm not having to take my stuff back and forth uh from the storage unit to my house and so so yeah if i end up getting a new mower uh for the house i'll end up putting this on there most likely just to keep debris and stuff from hitting the house or hitting the horses something like that so does it work yes uh would i spend i think it was 200 dollars, or would i spend 350 dollars on the quick shoot I would definitely, every day of the week, spend the extra $150, get the quick shoot. It operates so much smoother and just, it, it's an overall, in my opinion, better built um, shoot blocker. But it is, it, this is a $200 shoot blocker. If that's all you can get your hands on and you got to have something right now, you can pick these up from the bad boy dealer and get out there rocking and rolling. Uh, you do got to drill a couple holes for the mounting bracket. Uh, if you if you get that uh, accelerator uh, bagger or whatever the Ballard uh, Catch Pro is, you can go ahead and mount this bracket on there too. I will tell you, these brackets on Skag decks are awful. Uh, if you look really closely, you can see that I have it bent actually up. This is the stainless steel one, so it's not just the fact that it's the aluminum one. I have this bent down so that way and you can actually kind of see it right there whenever that bagger gets full it'll sit there and it'll push this in and you'll hit it with the blades uh so that that is one bad thing about that bagger on the skag so you do not have that issue i hadn't i had an x mark walk behind um that the bagger worked out great on i did not have that issue on the x mark deck and i don't think you would have that like on a right deck either um but i could be wrong but definitely on the skag decks that is something you'll want to keep in mind if if i was going to tell somebody oh yeah the bagger's great but um if you're if you're able to weld stainless steel or you got a local welding shop close by go ahead and have them weld that up for you uh maybe maybe give us some sort of cross brace there because that will end up catching and it, it's really something i wish you would see from the factory um Although I will say the customer service was excellent. They, they actually sent me a replacement bracket because I had the aluminum one. Um, I went through two aluminum ones and this updated stainless steel one, although it was better, once it got about halfway full, it would start hitting the blades. So that is something to keep in mind there. But would I recommend the advanced shoot system blocker? Maybe. Uh, if you got a choice, uh, go go with something a little bit nicer. They got foot operated ones. Uh, they got the quick shoots. They, there's better ones out there. But for a couple hundred bucks, you can go ahead and get you a metal shoot blocker. So it is it is better than nothing. All right, guys. So here is the quick shoot. How that operates is you do have one little option to have it come up partially. 
and then you do also have all the way open. One thing I do like about that quick shoot a lot more than that advanced bagger. Uh, once again, this isn't probably something you'll see on anything except for the skags because of the way the deck's designed. But on the skag, so you do have, I, I'd say maybe a half inch overhang, if that. Uh, it may be perfectly flat, but it's, it's a lot better. On that advanced shoot blocker, let's see if I can hold this in place. So that advanced shoot blocker, you'd only get it about this open. So you would actually, you would lose another three inches of space, which doesn't seem like a really big deal. However, that, that did keep me from getting in some backyards last year. And it, it was kind of a pain point, which is why I ended up switching over to the quick shoot. And the quick shoot, is also a heck of a lot thicker guys you don't have those holes where all those little grass missiles are going to pop out of there like on the advanced shoot system uh the quick shoot works really really well though so i i would definitely recommend between the two pick you up the quick shoot.